One night, when I was flying over France on my way back to the United States, I looked out of the tiny windows and all I could see were lights. Cities and small towns, connected by roads and railways, creating a single luminous network like that of the synapses in a brain. In the future, a collaborative model will be developed within small autonomous communities connected to each other, an alternative to urban concentration, a social reproduction of the human brain. What was claimed to be an automaton that could play chess, known as the Turk, was a machine created in 1769 and it could hide a short person inside. The person was positioned so that he could see the opponent's moves and respond by moving the mechanical arm of a dummy that looked like a Middle Eastern man. On the 10th of February, 1996, IBM's Deep Blue was the first computer to win a game of chess against the world champion of the time. It defeated Garry Kasparov. In the 1968 film called 2001 A Space Odyssey, five astronauts on the spaceship Discovery 1 were traveling towards the planet Jupiter with the assistance of the supercomputer HAL 9000. HAL 9000 had an artificial intelligence and spoke with a persuasive and natural sounding voice. It could read people's lips and experience feelings to such an extent that it could even kill for fear of being deactivated. The Brain Initiative is a project that was announced by Obama in April 2013 and it aims to map the activity of each of the 100 billion neurons in our brain. The objective is to find remedies for diseases like Alzheimer's, to study the origin of consciousness and create artificial intelligence similar to human intelligence. In a novel published in 1961, Solaris is a planet covered by a single ocean that is constantly changing itself. It's a gigantic sentient being that manifests itself by the emergence of enormous complicated structures. The biggest ones are three-dimensional representations of mathematical formulae. The smaller ones are copies of human structures taken from the memories of the scientists on a study mission to the planet. Solaris is capable of thinking, but its attempts at communication are beyond our comprehension. Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep is a 1968 novel by Philip K. Dick. It tackles the topic of what is to be human or not. The setting is a dystopian and post-apocalyptic future where artificial copies of animals are status symbols to be desired and artificial copies of humans are used as though they were slaves. The 1982 film Blade Runner is based on the novel. Artificial intelligence, AI, is the ability of a computer to perform reasoning that is typical of a human mind. As it relates to computing, the field of study of AI covers the theories and techniques for the development of algorithms that make it possible for computers to have intelligent activity in a specific field. AI, Artificial Intelligence, is a film produced in 2001. In the year 2125, the world has been devastated by the effect of global warming and by the rise in sea level. Technology has evolved to such a point that it's possible to create beings called Mecha, sophisticated robots similar to human beings. David is an android with the features and feelings of a child. Black Cloud was written in 1957 by cosmologist Fred Hoyle. The story sees the arrival of an enormous black cloud of gas, a sentient organism seeking light and heat. By covering the sun, there is the risk that it will wipe out life on Earth. It's amazed to discover intelligent beings on the planet, and before leaving, it transmits knowledge to a scientist of such impact that it kills him. In 1859, the English naturalist Charles Darwin published On the Origin of Species, in which he explained that groups of organisms of the same species gradually evolve over time by means of the process of natural selection. In 1863, an article called Darwin Among the Machines put forward the idea of Darwinian-type evolution of machines with a time frame that moved faster than that for humans and at a time in the future when machines would supplant humans as the dominant species. 
By using a 3D printer, it's possible to physically produce objects of varying complexity, ranging from a whistle to a car to a prosthesis, and it can even draw on examples and prototypes to be found on the internet. In the future, intelligent machines will reproduce and will continue to improve. Big data refers to such vast collections of data in terms of volume, velocity and variety that require specific technologies in order to extract value. The vastness of the data in the order of zettabytes or billions of terabytes needs massive parallel computing power. Big data is growing exponentially. 90% of all the data available today has been created over the last two years. Internet of Things, IoT, refers to the extension of the Internet to the world of objects and locations. Objects acquire intelligence because there is data associated with them and it's possible to access information via other objects or via the Internet. Alarm clocks go off earlier if there's a lot of traffic on the roads. Gym shoes transmit competition times and distances to people in other parts of the world. Medicine containers give a warning signal if you forget to take your medicine. In the future, there will be stupid objects that have no software the intelligent objects that are programmed for specific functions, intelligent and integrated objects that interact with each other and also with the Internet. In January 2015, the total population was 7.21 billion. There were 3.01 billion active users and 2.078 billion active social media accounts. In the years following 2030, world leaders will be Samsung for the extraction of big data, ThingBook, Facebook spin-off for the development of IoT, the US government's Brain Initiative, and Everywhere, an international consortium of non-profit organizations managing the internet under the auspices of the UN. Web, IoT, Big Data and AI represent the nervous system, the sensors, the memory and the brain of a super being who will control the planet in the future and will escape human understanding. The moment this happens will be called Singularity. In 2015, Stephen Hawking said on the BBC, The development of artificial intelligence could lead to the end of the human race. The end of humanity, the singularity could come about at some time around the decade of the 2040s. They are made of flesh. Flesh? Without a doubt. All flesh. It's impossible. And the radio signals? Messages to the stars? They use radio waves for talking, but the signals don't come from them. They come from machines. And who has made these machines? He's the one we want to contact. Them. They made them. Flesh made the machines. Ridiculous. You're asking me to believe in flesh that is sentient? These creatures are the only sentient race in the sector, and they are made of flesh. Perhaps they are intelligence based on carbon that passes through a flesh stage. No, they are born flesh and they die flesh. No brain? They have a brain, but it's made of flesh. And so, what is it that thinks? It's the brain, it's the flesh that thinks. Thinking flesh? I have to believe in thinking flesh? Yes, thinking flesh, conscious flesh. Flesh is everything.